Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending September 24th. This first article was sent by Joseph L. Thank you for the article. This is from Popular Science last week. Solar-powered helicopter takes flight. A breakthrough design from student inventors. I'll play a little bit of the video, too, of the uh, helicopter. It's not really a video so much as it's a, a GIF picture if you scroll down to the middle of the page. But this year we saw a solar-powered plane circumnavigate the globe and a solar-powered boat gear up to do the same as of last week, which would be, I don't know, for some of you a week and a half, two weeks from when you see this. We can add to the list of clean energy marvels the first ever piloted flight of a solar-powered helicopter. A team of undergraduates at the University of Maryland has developed a four-rotor helicopter equipped with an array of solar panels. The craft took the air for nine seconds, lifting more than a foot off the ground. Um, the team that built the aircraft previously achieved the longest ever flight of a human-powered helicopter. I believe I did cover that on a past TDD report. Um, either tired from pedaling or low on carbs, they turn their sights to the sun. Their new invention builds off the previous design, but it requires a lot less legwork. The project has come a long way in the past six or seven years from a human-powered to solar power, said University of Maryland Ph.D., candidate William Sterak, I hope I pronounced that right, who assisted with the flight. So we are breaking the barriers of all sorts in aviation, which is with this one airframe, and we are very proud of the work here at the University of Maryland. So good for them. I'm going to leave it with just the one article because I do have a guest today, uh, my friend Tyler, who was actually a member of the original group that started my TDD report. It originally was called the Dumpster Divers. Now I just say the letters TDD just are in memory of that. They don't really stand for much of anything because there is no road group anymore, but he was one of the original members of the Dumpster Divers, and Tyler has agreed to come on and uh, do a guest spot for me. He's going to tell you about a gadget he picked up at AutoZone, and he's also going to tell you about um, a new... Well, I'll let him describe it, too. He does food reviews of different newer snacks and uh, new things that fast food restaurants uh, add to their menu and stuff like that. I kind of think that's kind of geeky, too, because uh, what a uh, computer geek or a uh, science geek does not like snack foods, at least not many of us, I don't think. I've got snack foods all around my room here. So uh, he likes to give reviews on stuff like this. So uh, I'll let him get started with his bit for the TDD report today. Take it away, Tyler. Hello to my friends at the Dumpster Divers. This is the webmaster here from Word of Mouth Food Reviews. And if you want to check out more, check out facebook.com slash mouth there should be a, I'll uh, send Chuck the link and he can do it that way. Um, and also there's a link from my Facebook. A lot of my YouTube videos are, uh, my videos are linked to YouTube. So that's, I, I'm not popular enough yet. Uh, as many of you may know that YouTube changed the rules a while back. So you have to have 5,000 subscribers before you can personalize your YouTube channel name. So mine's just a bunch of letters and numbers right now. But for now, a uh, quick, quick plug to uh, Premier Mobile. They did not sponsor this, but you can find these at uh, AutoZone. It is a window dash clamp mount. You can stick it either on your dashboard. Uh, for those of you who have like actually regular flat dashboards, mine's kind of like wavy so it doesn't stick very well. Or where I have mine, it's actually mounted into the, uh, the windshield. It's real easy. It's like a suction cup type thing. You kind of, uh, it's like a wheel. So if you turn it it, turn it one way, kind of sucks it up into the windshield, and then turn it the other way if you need to move it up around the windshield for better angles or whatever. Um, I have a new HTC phone, but it works on all smartphones. Um, yeah, again, it helps you with distraction-free driving. Um, again, it's really easy to put together. You really just take it out of the box, pull off the plastic, and uh, mount it to your windshield or your dashboard. But I prefer the windshield, hands-free, and you get a little bit of a closer look at what's going on. So that is from Premier Mobile, and you can only find those at AutoZone, and they're only running about 13 bucks. Um, so it'll help you on long road trips as well as other various things. But today, a special for my friends in the, at the Dumpster Divers, Chuck asked me to do a video, so I'm going to do, do a video for you all, because videos are cool. And that's probably why you're watching the Dumpster Divers. Today we're taking a look at the uh, Taco Bell. Uh, cheesy core burrito. This is the spicy edition. I tried the crunchy edition. It's essentially like a smaller burrito with filled cheese and little uh, Frito chips. They're a little bit spicy. 
but unless you eat the burrito in a, in a quick manner, like you do it as a dine-in as opposed to taking it with you and then eating it at home or whatever the case may be, the, the chips inside the Fritos are going to get really soggy. So, and, I mean, it's still a really good burrito if you're loving the cheesiness, but today, let's see, let's take a ooh, wow. Had a little blowout there. Hold on. Little blowout there, or a lot of blowout, depending on how you want to see it. But this is supposed to be the jalapeno edition. If it's not, well, whatever. We'll just kind of go with it. Because I don't think I reviewed the cheesy. I don't. I didn't review the cheesy core on, on camera. But it was all right. So here we go. This is the spicy, uh, spicy cheesy core burrito with jalapenos. And these uh, are about a dollar ninety nine each plus tax. So here we go. Son of a bitch. Pretty sure this is the cheesy core. But whatever. So it's supposed to have jalapenos in it. It doesn't. So. Anyways. This is the cheesy core. And it has cilantro rice, uh, regular beef. I'm sure you can do chicken or steak, but. It'll probably add to your price. Um, not bad. Again, for two bucks, it's probably pretty filling. Get a drink, maybe some nachos, or if you're fat like me, I get the uh, the double dilla. Those things are amazing. I know. I told the lady I wanted the spicy one. So either they don't have it or they don't know how to ring it up. I don't know. But again, I'm, I, I, whatever. But these are the same people who want massive raises. I understand about living raise, wages. things come in due time so anyways this is the cheesy core burrito from uh, Taco Bell it's okay um, I really want to try the spicy core burrito you know like uh, with jalapenos and I'm pretty sure I mentioned jalapenos in it nope they still gave me the cheesy core and I know there's supposed to be two kinds because I've seen other people other reviewers who have gotten the spicy core it's supposed to be stuffed with jalapenos and stuff like that a little bit spicier, but some people said the this is spicier than the other one because the, the um, spicy core has uh, sour cream in it where this doesn't. But so it was a live video. It was a fail uh, in one respect, just because it's supposed to be the spicy uh, spicy core burrito, but it was the uh, cheesy core. I don't know. Sometimes you just wonder what to expect. It's just, I had two items and, and they got two out of three. I guess that's that's a little 67%, but it's still failing, right? Hmm. Oh well, this is the webmaster from Word of Mouth Food Reviews for you folks at the Dumpster Divers. Thanks for tuning in and uh, stay tuned. There might be more for me in the future. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, Tyler, with the help for the TDD report this week. I will have links to Tyler's Facebook page, word of mouth, and to his YouTube channel, too. So that's about it for this week. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.